Okay, guys, um, my, uh, I ran out of computer space, but I thought, you know, I have time. Let's continue. Because there should be only, there's only two more missions before this game's over. So why not do it now? Because, I mean, why not? I have time. Oh, water. Uh-uh, I got, oh, oh. And I noticed while I was transferring over the data. Bow, 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 rank, lightning bolt, finally. And I have 1,200 left, so the only thing I can get, megawatt hammer, uh, funny drop. The only thing I would get at the end of the game would be the, the gigawatt. Wait, wait. I don't think I can upgrade the, um, yeah. But, but now I have, um, increased <coughs> lightning. But yeah, there's only two missions at the end of the game, and unless I get interrupted, someone comes over. Which might happen. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna end it with this session. Okay, I just failed right there. And just, let's go over here. There's only two more missions, and I, I don't think there's any more side missions. Officer, do your job. That's right, shoot him. Just get him off my back. And, I mean, if you guys were going to stop, you have like 20 to 30 minutes to beat a game. And you've been playing for two hours. Would you stop? I don't think so. Well, maybe you would, but me? Oh, whew. Let, let, let me just freaking hover. I don't want to fall through no hole. Don't fall through no holes, man, because they'd be tricky. Man, shit, you'd be walking one minute and you'd be going through the ground and then a minute. Shit, and you'd be dead. But, um, yeah. And, oh, funny story. I had Infamous. It was my first game. And you guys may have heard, heard me say before. When I, um, first played the demo, I would go to the mall to play this demo all the time. Because, oh, backstory, I don't go to the mall. I go to the mall maybe once or twice a year, if that. And I, I haven't been to the mall at all this year. And I went once last year, and that's for a Christmas gift. But I hate going to the mall. Just because it's nothing to do. I mean, you go there to spend money and hang with friends. But I would rather hang with friends at my house or at their house. Let's watch movies. Why do we have to go with it? Why do we have to be in a crowded population just to have fun and spend money? I'm like, shit, let's just buy a pizza watch some movies at our own house. Save some money. And... I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't like malls. Just too noisy for me. But, I didn't have a PS3. But, at the, um, at the electronics place, oh, up, it's up there. They had the demo, and I would play that shit for hours. I would go to the mall between classes, after classes, and play the demo over and over again. And, man, man, that's what I would do. I would just rush over to the electronics, and I would pog that shit for, like, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get that next time, that blast shot over there. Looks like Kessler's keeping the race sphere in the old examiner building. Gonna be a bitch getting to it, though. Oh, so oh. Anyway, what I was saying before is, this is my first game, and I stopped playing it for like four or five months because of this level. I could not beat it, and I was playing on hard. The first time I played it, I didn't know I was playing on hard because, you know, this game, it sets it up, it sets it up for you, like, um, what difficulty you're playing on from the beginning, how good you are. And I didn't know I was playing on hard. And I kept on getting my ass blown away. Eventually I realized I could just like they're all on top of the building. So you could just like see those jets call? They're hitting targets all across the city, preparing the way for a ground invasion. I warned you to shut up. They'd escalate things. You shouldn't have reneged on our deal. You're not pinning this on me, Moya. I already have. And basically all you do is just run like at the lower levels, because there's no one down here, if I remember correctly. And you just climb the buildings, and as soon as you destroy it, you just dive down. It's pretty simple. Now watch me. Now I hope I, I, I do this correctly, and I don't, I don't get my ass kicked. I said it. I said it was simple, but it would help if I could climb. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Maybe I should just do it the, the correct way instead of my. Oh wait, I can just... Well... One down. And... Hovercraft! Whoa! Land on your right foot, don't forget it! Now it's time to bring it around town. Bring it around... 
Well, actually, never mind. It's, it's a lot easier on normal if you just do it the regular way. But on hard, I just went down to the lower level and went all the way around. I mean, all the way around. There's nothing to me. There's nothing to absorb. Oh, it wasn't on that building though. How nice of them to put me right next to the um last jammer. <laughs> Let's do it real quick before I get shot. It counts. Now. That's the last of them. Now get away from the building. I don't want you breathing in this. I'm going. I'm running. I was running in my defense. Now he, he now he's about to bomb the place, so shit. Just have to climb up here and we'll, and we'll be golden. Now you you can easily not die if we don't rush through this thing, like I've been doing. But he's about to bomb the shit out of it. Watch there. The ultimate stink bomb. And now they're gonna like transport it, I think. I'm, I'm probably gonna lose him. Come on, Cole, you got to move. I'm going as fast as I can. And uh, I, Get the lead out. I probably, I lost it. Wait, maybe not. Okay. Ooh, a fight. Wait, it. <sighs> I'm basically basically racing the train right now. There's only one thing that can stop me right now. Oh shit, it's going the wrong way. No, no. Okay. Basically, I, I, I have to go in there and get, kill everyone here. They've got a boat inbound. Probably trying to take advantage of the fact that water will kill you. Hmm. I've got fuel leaking all over the place, so you've got to catch up to us, or we're going to lose the sphere again. I'm just throwing mines, hoping to kill anyone who might be invisible. <coughs> Damn gas grenades! Out of my way! Damn straight. Uh-uh. Get off that turret. The heck? Oh, he's still alive. This thing's running on vapor, so I gotta put it down. Get your ass down there and stop them. Follow you on foot as soon as I can. Uh-oh. I'm wait, no, I didn't I, I, I did not mean to aim that way. I'm pretty much about to die. I'm dead. Yeah, if I, I, I could, I can only deal with one thing at, at, at a time.
Oh, I did not see that there. Huh? If I'd known that was there, it, it would have been a lot easier. Oh well. Whoa! Yo, eat that! Whoosh! Why did I do this in the very beginning? In the very beginning? Cause I'm an idiot and forget shit. Oh, you want some too? Okay. So, man, I could have just used the lightning storm in the very beginning. I forgot about that. <laughs> so there's the race sphere. Hey, John, what took your sorry ass so long? You know, I had that thing in my hands once. Kessler asked me to hold it while they adjusted some cables during a test. It's so live! As I drink my coke. It's not right. And everyone wants it. That big lightning strike of yours should destroy its protective container. Then we can blow the sphere sky high. <sighs> How many lives has that thing destroyed? Corrupted? I can't risk it falling into the wrong hands. But it gave me powers once before. If I use it again, it could make me twice as strong. Shit, I actually have to go right now. So I'll, I'll finish this mission, but I have to end the session right at this point. Trish's crumbled body flashes. So I'll see you guys next time. I'm just gonna let this cutscene play out, then I'll just. And I hit that spear. I'll, I'll let the cutscene play out, then I'll just end it. So something goes I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Gracefield cracks open, creating a vortex of energy. John's pulled in, and it tears him apart. And I run. John and the race sphere are gone, reduced to ashes. Nothing went according to plan, but at least the race sphere is out of the picture. I'm disappointed, Cole. Over here. The race sphere was Hurry the catalyst of your powers, and it could have strengthened you even more, but you rejected it. I, for one, wouldn't have done the same thing. Yeah, well, I'm not like you. It took me a while, but I finally realized that this isn't about me, about what I want. Not anymore. It's about keeping this city safe. And once you're dead, no one will ever threaten it again. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Meet me at the Staten Building. Awesome.
Okay guys, the final fight is about to begin. Um, I will most likely be silent during this part. There's some people at my house now. So, I'm just going to finish this last part. The cutscene at the very end will be silent, just plain cutscene without commentary. I might talk, but hopefully... I, no one <clears throat> See, now, now it's kind of hard now. People are in interrupting it. But this is the last one, so let's just finish it. <clears throat> Now that's a slimming ass jacket and outfit. <laughs> it's been a while since I remember how to fight. Tch. <laughs> Wow, it's really, it's really, really easy. Uh-uh! No! No! Oh, shut up, you wanna be Sith? Fat man. Did he go? Where did he go? This, he is really pretty easy. These things are really annoying. <laughs> oh, you in. It's pretty much over. And it's over. Kessler could have used his powers to stop it, but instead he fled with his family, leaving others to fend for themselves. Hunted for years, Kessler and his family watched as the rest of the world went to hell. And then it was too late. Too late to fight. Too late to save anyone. In that moment of failure and grief, he used his newest and most dangerous power. He went on a one-way trip back in time, attempting to rewrite history. Kessler seized control of the First Sons and accelerated the Ray Sphere's development. Decades spent plotting the blast, organizing the quarantine. 
finding me. Yet the thing that drove him forward, Kessler's sole link to the past, was a picture from his wedding day, when he married Trish, with Zeke as his best man. My brain lurched, unable to accept that Kessler and I were the same person, that he'd come back in time to mold me into the savior he failed to be, going so far as to kill the woman he loved, I loved, so that I wouldn't be tied down by emotions. No, Kessler wanted me strong, ruthless, so that when I faced the beast, I'd be capable of making impossible decisions, all for the common good. And then Kessler fell back, dead. His final message, my final message, burned into my brain. I take one last look down at myself my future self, and turn away, the rage curdling inside. I hate everything about Kessler, but when the time comes, I will be ready. this would be the end. That once Kessler and the race fear were gone, my life would go back to normal. But now I understand that this is my life. That there's no going back. That the gift of these powers will be my burden until the day I die. The people around here, they love me. How long will that last? What's going to happen the first time they expect me to be there for them and I'm not? I don't even know who to trust. Moya is still running around, planning God knows what. And Zeke, I don't know what to think. I've never been more alone. 